Hey everybody, um, so la uh, I'm back at home now, which is really nice. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday, I uh, wasn't, I, I ate too much and then I went for a walk, um, which the walk was good, but I had like a butternut squash soup and crackers and uh, strawberries and pineapple, because I knew pineapple was good for inflammation, but I think that the acidity of the pineapple affected me because that night um, I was trying to sleep and I felt nauseous and I ended up like really suddenly just like throwing up and then um, like every hour and a half or so throughout the night I would wake up and just like vomit. The thing is, is like after I threw up I would like feel really tired and like actually go into a deep sleep which was nice until it happened again. It happened about four times but it felt like ten. Um, yeah, and then yesterday, and then today we drove home. We were able to buy some gravel, and that really helped. Uh, so I took the gravel, and um, I kind of I just ate a bagel, like a plain bagel from Tim Hortons without butter, and I had um, some water, some crackers eventually throughout the day. Uh, eventually, I had a bit of tea too, but. Yeah, uh, I just took it easy and kind of slept, put a pillow behind my head and reclined the chair and the car. So we drove um, like seven hours. So uh, yeah, it's really nice to be home. I ate a salad and changed and um, washed my face and stuff. So that's really nice. Uh, I also, uh, I, a while ago I peeled off the, the tape a little bit from my chest, uh, because this was all taped here, so I was getting a reaction to it, um, and so I have been icing it, and then I also put some Vaseline on it, um, and so the rash and the swelling has been kind of going down, so it's not really bad, but I'm still a little bit, still have a bit of a rash there, but the Vaseline help, really helps, so if you have, like, a rash... If you're having top surgery, like, that can be really nice. Or a rash cream, like cortisone or something, but I used Vaseline. That worked well. Um, doesn't really itch as much. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. A little weak, a little, um, like, lightheaded. Uh, I did take another gravel before eating my salad. I'm not really in pain. Most of this I haven't been in pain. I've just been, like uncomfortable, like itchy, and feels like really heavy and tight. Um, feels very similar to if you bind for too long in a day, which I did a lot before top surgery, which was bad. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Feels like that. Um, and yeah, it kind of feels like that, or like if you're like kind of like sick, it feels similar to that too. And it's itchy. <laughs> And that's, that's where I'm at, but it doesn't really hurt. I've been, I haven't had to take any oxy still, which is really nice because they didn't, well, they, they normally prescribe at the clinic something else that's, uh, has less chance of addiction and is a little less intense, but, uh, I'm allergic to sulfa, which is an ingredient in it. So they put me on oxy. Um, and so I haven't had to take any of that yet. Only Tylenol threes. So I've been taking the Tylenol threes every four hours. I took it once five one time I did five hours, but I've been doing it every four hours and I've started weaning it down to just one every four hours because I've been feeling fine instead of two every four hours. Um, and last night when I was throwing up too, I didn't take another one and then I was fine. Like I missed one of the times uh, in the middle of the night uh, because I didn't want to swallow it. So I wasn't in pain in the morning, so uh, I'm slowly cutting down. Um, and we'll see, but it's really nice that I haven't had to take any of the serious painkillers and that I've been kind of be able to wean down on this already and it's already, it's all, only like day three post-op. So also like emotionally, like I feel like I haven't actually had top surgery still. It's like, I know I have, but like it feels like it, it hasn't happened. But it's weird though, because it's like the way my chest looks is like, if I were to wrap it in ace bandage before surgery, it wouldn't have been this flat still. So that's really cool. So like, I know I kind of have, but I don't know when it'll set in that it's actually happened because it still feels like, oh, you know, hope I don't die when I have surgery. 
And I'm like, wait, I already had surgery. Like, I don't know. Also, my brain's a little foggy, so I, it's a little incoherent where I'm placing thoughts together. But like, yeah, just a little weak, a little hard time placing things together. But like, I'm not in pain and I'm, I'm doing really well. So, yeah. So I've decided we're going to call that day two uh, post-op. Because, uh, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday. So that was day two. Thank you for watching.